Welcome to the Homegrown Hunter TV. I'm out at Cabin Nacogamy Lake. It's a bit of a tongue twister, but it's 30,000 acres of nothing but pristine fishing here at Watson's KB Lodge. We're gonna go out, do some fishing, at the same time check out Tom's moose mineral locations that he's been using Rackstacker at, and we're also gonna check out some bear sites for potential bear hunt this coming fall. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a fantastic show. TV has been brought to you by Rackstacker Brand Products, Canada's leading big game attractants company. Campbellford Chrysler, a small town dealer with a huge inventory. And Huckabones Equipment, Ottawa Valley's Kubota dealer. And these other fine sponsors. KB Lodge is located in north central Ontario and is accessed only by floatplane from White River. I was invited out by Tom Watson to check out his moose and bear setups while enjoying some downtime with my son Logan, my nephew Carson, and warehouse manager for Rackstacker Tyrell Gwiler. I can't now, you jumped up there first. <laughs> this is going to be a first time for any of us to be on a fly-in trip, so we are all very excited. We flew in a beaver that was led by a very comfortable ride for all of us to get to the lodge. We were greeted by Tom and Michelle at the dock when we arrived, just like they've done with every guest that's arrived this past couple of days. Michelle had taken the boys into the store to give her a bit of fishing tips for the lake, while we ended up getting a tour from Tom on how we can get set up with the boats to go fishing on our first day. Tom is very well equipped for the day on the water. Boats were outfitted with everything else we needed. We hit the water after Tom had shown us a map and some good spots to fish. We were into the fish almost right away. Carson landed his first pike of the week. <laughs> That's awesome. Good guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> Yeah, but who's to say my line's not getting hit too? Pulls a double in three I just minutes. I over my rod was going in the back of the... I'll go see if you're something to bite your rod. Our family history started in 1946 on this lake when my father came back from the Second World War and established Pine Portage up north in the lake. In 1980, he bought what is now Kaby Lodge. And it's been our family ever since. 
Michelle and I bought it in 2009 from a family before my parents died, so it continued on the family tradition that we had in tourism. So uh, the amount of cabin space we have here at KB Lodge is I have seven individual guest quarters in six cabins. We can house approximately 48 to 52 guests quite comfortably. And uh, we offer both American plan in the lodges where all of your meals are included in your package price. Or you can have housekeeping where you have the option of bringing your own food and doing your own cooking. We do everything from a two day stay to a seven day stay or longer. It really depends on how much time you want to come and have some great fishing for. We price everything out in Canadian dollars as we are very proudly Canadian owned and operated. good option that we have here at TV Lodge is we have satellite Wi-Fi that is available in the main lodge and depending on how strong the signal is you can sometimes get it in your cabins. From a business owner's perspective this offers you the opportunity to get away from your daily chores and business activities but at the same time stay connected. It also as we like to say gives you that chance to disconnect so you can reconnect. For a pet friendly operation as well dogs spayed and neutered are all very welcome as long as you're comfortable and confident that you're going to be able to keep an eye on them and keep them safe while they're here at the lodge. Stay tuned, we're going to check out moose spots next. Tom was teaching the boys how to catch fish right off the dock so we could have lunch that day. One of the things that Watsons take pride in is their shore lunches. Within an hour, the boys had caught lunch with just a jig and a minnow. Right on the on the dock, on the dock. Get them over the dock. <laughs> Always grab the line, okay? There you go, good job. You're smoking them now. Using a handcrafted Helle knife called the Steinbit, Tom had filleted the fish and prepared it for lunch. It's been a lot of years since I had the chance to sit down on the shore with family and friends on this type of setting. It was very relaxing and the food was absolutely delicious. Bellies were full and it was time to get some work done. Tom was taking us up the river to one of his favorite moose holes to get them set up for the fall. Well, here we are at the spot where we, I was telling you about Steve, what the rack stack where I first tried it out. And I call it my toothpick tree for the moose. Gonna use good old heavy weight again. I'm gonna walk back in here, it's only in about 40 yards. I like to keep nice close to the edge of the water so that moose have access to it. Great feeding areas around. They bed in this area, great crossing area. So let's take a walk back in there. I'm gonna show you toothpick tree. And this is Rack Stacker. <laughs> Take a look at the ground for the, all the tracks in here. It's incredible what they do. I've tried a lot of different products over the years. And nothing has had this kind of result. going to put down a little more magic. Now, the thing is just the way it leaches back through the ground, they just continue to come and come and come. Even when the stuff you don't even see anymore there, they know it's there and they just come. 
love it. Love it, love it, love it. Well, what it is, as you can tell, the bottom side of it is all activated out. And when the bulls are coming in, their antlers are rubbing each side and just absolutely tearing it up as they're busy trying to get at the mineral. And they're both sides. I've got pictures of these guys coming in and you'll have a moose on each side working at the lick together. And it's one of the few times you're gonna actually find bulls really working together on a site. And say so they just get their antlers against it. They're not really rubbing intentionally against the pole. It's just what happens is they're so busy feeding on the mineral. They just get desperate for it and, well, you can see they just dig a pit and just antlers in the way the whole time. Got some pictures of moose in June and early July when they're coming into the mineral and you got these little knots and they'll catch the velvet and tear the velvet and you'll see blood all down the thing because they're so busy at it, they ignore the fact that they've actually cut themselves trying to get the mineral. That's probably what causes the wound of the antler, right? Could well be, yeah. yeah. After having a great breakfast, the boys wanted to have some fun on the dock again, but this time they had a bet going on. <laughs> okay. That's the newest bet, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we have to kiss right here. Right on the lips. No, I'd bite my lip. I just have to kiss him in the lips. Wherever you want. There you go. Guess away. Logan, I'd like, I'd hold it myself, myself because he might. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. That's awesome. Oh, good. Well, the guys got lunch. I had a chance to talk bears with Tom. Are you primarily like fall hunting or spring? Fall. Yeah. yeah. Combination thing, I can't get in here in time to start baiting for the bears in the springtime to have what I consider a good chance of success for the hunters. So I'd rather just focus on doing a really good quality bear hunt in the fall time and have happen. You know, I feel I could bring some people in but in good conscience, so I know if I'm offering the best chance I can. Rackstacker also has bear bait products that we had brought in for Tom to use for his clients this coming fall. He said he would go show us some spots, but first we needed to try a delicacy called the KB broil. So what do we got here, big guy? This is called the KB broil. Okay. And what we have is, of course, fresh fish. We have onions, oh, cool. canned tomatoes, lemons, pepper, or lemons, oranges. So a bunch of citrus and flavoring. But citrus in the flavoring. Now I noticed you put some spices on there. What's on there for spices? Actually, the only thing that was on here is salt and pepper. Oh, is that all it was? Yeah. The other spices are for the potatoes. And this is obviously homemade, just fresh bread. Homemade bread. Homemade, homemade bread, bread right here at the lodge. Awesome. Try to enjoy that. <laughs> I can smell it, it smells amazing. Tom has plenty of locations around the lake for lunches. This is one called Chipmunk Falls. It has a picnic table and everything you need to enjoy your stay in a beautiful setting to boot. Just put the heavy weight down a couple days ago and we've already got results moose have been in here 
Um, I know the bears have been back in the backside as well. You can see the fresh moose tracks. This is a travel route that the moose like to walk up and down the shoreline. They got feeding or bedding in behind us. They got feeding area just on the other side of us. Of course, right on the lake shore, so it's a great, great spot. If you come over here, I'll show you what the moose have done to this stump or what's left of this stump. This is where we work the heavyweight, and they've just gnawed it down to nothing. We're gonna put a little bit of bull slop down on here. It's an amazing attractant. Even helps for the cows and calves to come in to get the best benefit out of the mineral too. Ooh, smell that. <laughs> Tom has a standard setup for his 45 baits that he runs for his clients. He's going to explain the setup. Well guys, here's a typical bear bait that we have. Stand is up over there. It's an 18 yard shot. What sh shot range would like to do. We've got great natural trails coming in. Set up buckets so they're up all the time. And that way you always get the opportunity to have a nice quartering shot for the bears, usually broadside, just by the way we put the buckets in. I'm going to add a little bit of bear bait to it. Oh, smell that. And then we always just throw a little bit of a cover on the top of it to keep the crows out of it, crows and the ravens. Has a little bit of added incentive. Got some of the bear slop. Oh, butter popcorn. Everybody's favorite. And the great thing about this product is you don't need a whole lot of it because the smell is so intense. We had seen plenty of bears at KB Lodge during our stay, and if you're looking for an exciting hunt, reach out to them today. Now just sit tight, because when we come back, we got an emergency we gotta deal with. The last day of the trip, we were looking to get into some 40 inch pike that the lake was known for. So Adam, their head guide of nine years, took us in his boat to a couple of spots that he knows that fish hold up in the spring shallows. We were going to start short walleye catch in the morning, then move on to pike in the early afternoon. Doing. <laughs> <laughs> he knows he's at five bucks now. Did you get that out of your bait pocket? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for giving me the big minners. <laughs> Messes the fish finder up a little bit. Oh. It looks like there's fish on the bottom down there. There was a lot of fish caught in the AM, but the fisherman of the day goes to Carson. Whoa! 
Carry your arm up. There you go. <laughs> he was landing them over and over. And I caught my fair share as a cameraman, too. Oh, nice. Nice. He's got a bite marker to the side of him. Just after lunch, we headed out for pike in the shallow bays, but they didn't seem to bite much. A couple of small ones were caught until this happened. It was deep, and we were a long ways from help. Good old Tom to the rescue. We'd like to welcome everybody to take an opportunity to come with the family or as your business group to enjoy a great Canadian vacation with our family here at KB Lodge. And we look forward to meeting you soon. Yeah. Check out our website, www.kbswildernessvacations.ca. By all means, check out Tom Watson's KB Lodge. It's a fantastic time, incredible fishing opportunities, and an experience you'll never forget. I'm your host, Steve Elmy of the Homegrown Hunter TV. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.